Hello, this is Kloplop321, and this is PHP MyAdmin and MySQL Tutorial 04. This tutorial goes over uh, things that have to do with getting rows into PHP, and this is where we'll start be we'll start using our test data from the previous tutorials uh, in the table called Tableish, uh, which has the seven rows from one to seven with pretty much random but identifiable data and unique data that is so uh, what we can do next and hopefully there won't be any flickering this time um, what you want to do is of course you want to connect and I'm going to open the previous tutorial uh, for that connection data so I'm going to copy this right here from the previous tutorial and put it in and now in PHP what I want to do is first I want to set the table name so I know it's called table ish and I'm just going to use that for future reference now back into the PHP my admin um, we have these rows here and we want to select it so here's the SQL that PHP my admin has provided for us and we can copy this now this limit right here um, all that does is that it's it only allows 30 rows to show uh, so you don't have like a table of 500 um, show all 500 at once and this is the offset right here so uh, if I set this to 2 it would skip over um, to pass this and show the rest of the rows right here from 3 to 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 but since it's 0 it's showing this if I set it to 1 it only it would show 2 to and up Anyway, I already have this uh, select data right here, and I'm going to go back to my editor. And I'm going to start with SQL equals, and I'm going to put in double quotes. Double quotes are best, and we can. It doesn't really matter if we keep it separate in two lines or not, but just for uh, readability, I put it into one line usually, except for more complex ones. So, what I want to do is uh, create that statement, and of course but this time instead of just doing MySQL uh, query uh, with the SQL in it what we're going to want to do is get the result of it so I'm going to say results equals and then the MySQL query and because I'm using a link I'm going to type in link because that's what it is right here um, now what I can do is take this result and I'm going to say I'm going to echo out how many rows there are so it's going to be that function, for example, is going to be MySQL, MySQL uh, num rows, and then you have to put in the result. And uh, it, you do not need that link identifier for this. So I'm going to save it now, and I'm going to go into my browser, and uh, I'm going to load up the page with the uh, PHP file that I just made okay so I'm going to click on my file and it says I'm connected because of that uh, one line I'm going to, to uh, take this and comment it out for now because we do not really need to have that set every single time so we have seven rows as you can see there's one two three four five six seven and if these IDs uh, were mixed and matched and possibly chopped and so on to and say this was 54 it would say seven anyway because there are seven individual rows so I have how many rows I have well of course next I want to process it um, but the thing is it's usually best to count how many rows you have first because if you try to get the data from rows that do not exist then you will have errors in your PHP so this is an error prevention by uh, detecting if you have more than one row uh, as in greater than zero not more than one row but more than nothing so what you want to do here is do while dollar sign row um, this is like a, an array this is kind of like a for loop for each loop uh, by the way equals mysql fetch array I've seen others use association but um, I seem to uh, prefer array best so I'm going to put in my result and I'm going to start the loop here and within this root loop I can use dollar sign row with the uh, column name so I'm going to say ID let's see if that's the same here 
and it is in fact um, case sensitive so this would not work I would have to change it to uppercase ID uh, if I wanted to get the uh, get the row IDs so I'm going to put in a space there and I'm going to execute this page and if I refresh it says one two three four five six seven as the IDs show here now if I change this and I said this was 55 and I click on go then that's how it looks right there and if I refresh this it says one two three four fifty five six seven now the reason why it's not in numerical order is because I've not um, set any order on it the order is by default uh, when it, where it is in the uh, in the table in terms of when it was actually entered the first time so if I wanted to order it I would click on this and I would copy this information right here and tag it on the end of my uh, my SQL statement so I'm just going to leave it like that and ASC stands for ascending DESC stands for descending so I'm going to go from lowest to highest so if I go back here and refresh my page it's going to have 55 at the end and skip over where 5 used to be because 55 is no longer 5 so we have that data and let's just say I want the names so I could easily just go ahead and say name and save it and go to the browser and refresh and it says tacos apples oranges oranges tacos went to the five and so on to this right here and uh, that's how it's working right there and there's two oranges as you can see so I can actually go ahead and say name and then I'm going to go and do BR for break return and do a quote uh, there's a special HTML tag for that called block quote which actually is quite nice and then I'm going to put in my row and I think it was called description I'm not sure uh, no it's just content um, so I'm going to put in row content and do that and then I'm going to end my block quote and then that should be it and I'm just going to put in a new line because uh, uh, to make it the code easier if in fact we do go to it so I can go back to my window here it says tacos are, for, are not from China apples might come from Georgia as you can see it has an indent indentation as a uh, as it goes through so you can see that I have I am fetching I am fetching multiple uh, columns from each row and processing them as individual rows through uh, through all this so as you can see here I'll explain this um, the reason why I'm using while is because while this is still true or rather while this can still uh, fetch a new row it um, it sets this row variable to what that row is uh, based from the result which I got from my query and that query of course was executed with the sequential querying language uh, code that I have right here so every time this loops it goes and echoes the name puts a BR and then a block quote of what uh, the comment or content that I put with it you can um, go ahead and say uh, you can have several different things like uh, you can order the content, the name, you can pretty much do anything and you can also do limit so if I say on the end of my SQL here limit uh, to three items and I'm going to save it then this should only show tacos, apples, and oranges as you can see my guess was correct now uh, you can use SQL to, uh, to fetch your data all at once and what you need through many complicated methods such as like uh, left shifts and rows and table sharing and so on with linking and joining however I am not going to go after that because I personally am not too fluent in SQL in terms of multiple and deep level queries however uh, 
the basics such as select um, and delete and update and so on I will uh, give instruction on if you have any questions comments or concerns or whatever you want to say to me please feel free to go to my website at cloplot 321com and go to my PHP tutorial section and feel free to send me a message you can comment on the tutorials as well and ask me questions and I'll um, and when I have free time I should be able to answer your question promptly if you'd like to request any future uh, tutorials feel free to also message me there and uh, also feel free to subscribe or donate to me uh, through my site or on YouTube and uh, this is Klopa321 signing off